hello viewers welcome back to my channel like the world uh, thank you very much for your interest uh, for coming back uh, to my channel uh, to to know about uh, features uh, and its uh, content and behavior so so today's topic is about the tank aggression uh, which is which is really very very important if you maintain uh, an african slit tank because uh, there are many factors let's say uh, let us come like point by point so why do you get uh, the tank aggression uh, and what will be the impact if you have the tank aggression and how to overcome or avoid uh, the tank aggression if you are really looking for an answers uh, to these questions then you are on the right video uh, at least I hope uh, so definitely I will provide you the best solution to minimize the tank aggression on your tank so a humble request like uh, before we get into the video I request you to please like the video so that there will be much uh, reach to the other viewers on YouTube this helps for me to grow uh, the channel very fast and also if you are really watching for the very first time uh, this video or you, you you visited my channel for the very first time I request you to please like and also subscribe to my channel thank you so well now uh, we will now go into the topics the first thing is why do we have tank aggression <coughs> very interesting question why so the only reasons are so if you have only few uh, male fishes oh, so sorry if you have more male fishes and few female fishes uh, this will be the first indication that uh, you will be having a high aggression in your tank uh, which can be really it cause serious problems for, for the other co-fishers uh, you might notice uh, especially if you have an african slip tank at your home uh, sometimes you, you find the uh, uh, fish aggression is really huge high on other fishes uh, and if that's the case uh, you can see that all the fishes go to one end of your aquarium and only one fish will be sitting on the other opposite side of your aquarium so this is uh, the first indication that you have to notice that uh, there is a tank aggression uh, in your tank and <coughs> what will be the impact so the impact will be that the fight uh, very very aggressively and then they will die either one of the fish will definitely die uh, because uh, i personally experienced this uh, in my tank uh, and i come to this point a little later but the impact will be uh, there will be chance high chance of losing your fishes or there might be uh, you can find some wounds on on the fishes this this will be also possible but uh, it's better to minimize uh, the tank aggression so i will tell you how you can really uh, minimize the tank aggression in your aquarium and the only way is uh, the first thing when you would like to uh, have african sisters in your tank uh, make sure you should know that that these fishes are really very aggressive when it comes to the other species uh, other fishes uh, <coughs> like this guys those are very sensitive and if, if you just leave one of these fish together with like 10 disc species they will die like in you will lose them quite fast like in one hour the the african sisters will they will kill all those disc species but uh, now the topic is different that we are discussing more about the optical systems how we can minimize the tank aggression the only solution is uh, if you would like to uh, have a proper male and female 
uh, you should keep in mind that uh, if there's a ratio let's say if you have one uh, male fish in your tank you would need definitely three or even more uh, female fishes uh, this is one way uh, where you can divert uh, the tank aggression and the second way is uh, <coughs> is to uh, have all male fishes in one tank uh, this is also possible because uh, currently what I am thinking to minimize the tank aggression in my tank ideally I found the solution uh, to have only all male African slaves in my tank uh, yeah because uh, uh, first thing uh, the male African slaves uh, they are brighter in color uh, and they are more attractive when, it, when you look uh, at both male and female uh, this is one point <coughs> and the second point is I have too many fishes as you can see on my back uh, and it will be really tricky for me to really maintain the balance like uh, like the ratio for having like one male with three females or even more that is will be quite challenging and in order to you know like or uh, to minimize all these uh, tank aggressions uh, I have decided to change my complete setup with male fishes so that uh, Male, male so they cannot fight uh, because it's always like uh, uh, male or like say uh, opposite gender like uh, each other and it's the same concept applies here and the male fishes try to you know uh, uh, flirt or or to impress the female fishes and then they, the story begins and then the tank aggression gets started in your tank so if, if you really have a big tank <coughs> and you would like to have both male and female uh, I would say you to have at least one male and go for three females or even more so that uh, you will be not having the tank aggression and they don't fight each other or they just don't sit uh, in one position and they will be going moving here and there very happily the other way is like what I decided to take away all the female fishes and have only the male fishes so that your aquarium looks more colorful and also uh, there will be no tank aggression uh, I have some video clips uh, which I recorded uh, in the last days where I had severe uh, tank aggression in, in my tank uh, and I lost a few fishes which was quite painful uh, unfortunately I don't have now time to show you uh, but I made a clip uh, which I will um, you know like join the video clip to this video so that you will be knowing uh, how severe the impact will be if you have a tank aggression so yeah that so yeah that's it my friends uh, I hope uh, you've got uh, answers to all, all the questions that which I raised in, in the very first step let's say uh, let me come back to check point by point again so why do you have the tank aggression I said it already 
that the tank aggression is because of uh, not having the proper ratio. This is the first step. And what will be the impact? The impact will be losing the fishes or else ending up with wounds uh, on, on it. And if you have wounds or some infections, uh, I also made an another video. Uh, you can uh, check it. Uh, I will add it in the i card here. Uh, you can check it uh, for for that uh, content. And finally, how to overcome or avoid uh, <coughs> tank aggression is just ideally go for all male fishes in one tank or have a proper ratio. That's it. Uh, so I hope you like the video. Uh, thank you very much for your time uh, and also. Please uh, give a like and if you are not yet subscribed, please also subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye bye.